Well, Joseph, good to see you. It's, uh, I'm sure it's great to be over in Manchester with this massive headlining fight as well. Just give us an insight with your new training regime with Andy Lee now. How are you feeling ahead of this task? To be totally honest, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like we've had a um, tremendous camp. And we started off uh, two weeks in Ireland where Andy and I put on some good work. And then we moved over to Morecambe, where we were there for four weeks. Um, using Tyson Fury's gym and staying in one of his houses. And we got some good rounds of sparring under our belts. So I think leading into this fight, um, you know, mentally and physically, probably the best I've ever been. Joseph, I think we know what a great boxing brain that Andy Lee's got and he's going to transform into a coach that and everyone who's worked with him says the same. What do you feel that Andy's added to your game, mate? What is it that you feel that Andy Lee has added to you as a fighter? Yeah, I, I feel we haven't been given the longest time to work together. You know, yes. it was about six weeks. This is the seventh week going into the week of the fight. But the few things that he has corrected and, and changed a few things, I feel like it's going to make a big difference. You know, just with my focus, you know, with my footwork, you know, technique. I think the most important thing is a technique. You know, I was doing one thing and then he showed me another thing and I tried it and it felt a lot better. So I think that's the biggest difference. Yeah. You... Joseph, how big a deal is it been for you to move to Ireland? I know that's where you're going to base yourself, I believe, now. I mean, obviously to be based in Las Vegas, but also with your family in New Zealand. I mean, how big a deal has that been to uproot and bring everything over to these shores? It's, uh, you know, when we first made the decision to move over to Ireland to train with Andy, my, my family have been very supportive. It was a, you know, the hardest thing about being away is missing the family and the kids and not being there to see them grow. But they are very supportive, very understanding. And, you know, hopefully it, with this fight, hopefully everything goes well. We can extend the contract with Matchroom and then continue locking in fights and keep busy. And so um, it is quite hard being away, but it's, it's what needs to be done. To, uh, to get back to the top. Joseph, you've been involved in fights sort of recently with a crowd. I've, is this your first fight without a crowd or...? This will be the first fight with no crowd. Any, any concerns about that at all? Or I know you're a professional, you've been around a long time, but e e what you're expecting, obviously a lot quieter than normal, but do you see it being a problem at all? Uh, I don't see it being a problem. I think as a fighter, you know, you're, you know, you go to the gym, you train, you know, you prepare well, and then, you know, you have the ring there. As long as you have a ring and gloves and a mouth guard, I think you should be okay. So there's no problems. Yeah. What about what about the bubble, Joseph and, and Derek? Because I mean, there's a bit of history between you two. It was meant to happen a good while ago, this fight, and and then it didn't. And and you know, Derek had his say at the time. Uh, is there any any kind of bad blood in it? Are you expecting any fun and games now before? the fight because Derek can do that as we know yeah I don't, I, there's no bad but there's a lot of respect but um going into the fight like I really want to hurt this guy you know and I want to get him I want to get him out of there you know he's been around for a long time so we're not really sure what to expect you know but we'll we'll prepare for whatever he brings whether it's um you know positive things he's going to say negative things whether it's going to be aggressive or non-aggressive we just don't know what he's going to bring but we're very prepared for it Joshua, Joe I, I guess that the, the aim is, is now, without a doubt, to win a world title again, to become a two-time world champion. Um, obviously, spending time with Tyson Fury, what's, what's the ideal route for you? I know, obviously, um, everything's sort of on hold to see what happens with Tyson Fury and Andy Joshua. But uh, for you, what's is the ultimate aim? Would you like another crack at Joshua if that doesn't happen? That's the perfect fight for you. I would love, you know, I would love another um, chance to, to, you know, rematch, a rematch with Joshua. But first things first is get this fight out of the way. And then I think if we, you know, get this fight out of the way and look good doing so, then there's a lot of other fights that we can sort of set up and then uh, keep winning and be in a position when, so when the belts are free that you can fight for it, you can be right there waiting. Good, good. Tyson Fury could cause you a bit of a headache or certainly Andy Lee. <laughs> uh, say that again. If Tyson Fury was the man that you wanted to fight, that could cause a bit of a problem for Andy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. It's just, just, we can't let you go, mate, without your... Um, what's your opinion on Morecambe? Let us know what you think of Morecambe. I really enjoyed my time in Morecambe. Really? Been, there's, been, there's been a lot of support um, for Team Parker yeah. in Morecambe. You know, and it's... Uh, 
we got we went on a few good runs along the waterfront. You know, at, like I said, everyone was friendly, but we had a great setup. You know, Tyson was very generous in letting us yeah. use the gym and, and the house. And I felt like it's exactly what I needed at this stage of my career, being away from family and friends, isolating somewhere else. Um, and then just you know, all, all I'm focusing on is training, eating and sleeping. You look in fantastic just... shape there. You look in fantastic shape there, Julie. Weight-wise, what you're looking to come in at, or do you want to just keep that quiet until fight day? Uh, I don't know, 240? Yeah. Uh, probably 100, 910 kgs, I'm not sure. I've been, you know, the weight's been not a problem. I've been eating a lot. i got a lot of good, i got good energy. Um, yeah. And, I'm, you know, I'm feeling refreshed, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling good every single day. Great stuff. Joseph, just want to ask you about the lockdown. You are one of the lockdown kings of social media. I mean, all the stuff that you were putting out there was was fantastic. And again, how do you think that's helped your profile? I mean, has it made a big difference to you coming over here now? And and obviously, you've come over here where New Zealand doesn't really have a massive COVID problem. You're, you're, you've changed everything, haven't you? Yeah, well, in New Zealand, we're doing very well with the COVID situation. I feel like with those videos, it was just a great way of lifting spirits at a very hard time. Not not everyone could deal with being stuck at home, but I think with the little videos that we've done, we, we show that, um, you know, you can have fun while being at home. You can have fun with the family, but also that, uh, you know, just to put a smile on people's faces. So it's been very well received here. <laughs>